Backlash, The Undeclared War Against American Women, by Susan Faludi is a meticulously researched and compelling exploration of the societal forces that have undermined the progress of women's rights in the United States. Published in 1991, Faludi's book remains remarkably relevant, as it delves into the various strategies employed to impede women's advancements and preserve traditional gender roles. Faludi's central argument revolves around the idea of a backlash against women's empowerment, a deliberate and calculated effort to erode the gains made by the feminist movement. She contends that this backlash manifests in multiple forms, including media representations, economic policies, and political rhetoric. Through a thorough analysis of historical events and cultural shifts, Faludi demonstrates how these tactics collectively work to undermine the confidence and aspirations of women. The author's exploration of media portrayals of women is particularly poignant. Faludi highlights how the media often perpetuates harmful stereotypes and unrealistic beauty standards, contributing to women's feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. She cites numerous examples, such as the prevalence of airbrushed images in magazines and the promotion of unattainable body ideals, as evidence of the media's complicity in the backlash. These portrayals, Faludi argues, create a sense of vulnerability that can lead women to retreat from the pursuit of professional and personal aspirations. Furthermore, Faludi examines how economic policies contribute to the backlash against women. She discusses the deliberate efforts to hinder women's progress in the workforce, including the devaluation of traditionally female-dominated professions and the resistance to implementing policies such as paid family leave and affordable childcare. By meticulously tracing the history of these policies, Faludi exposes how they perpetuate the notion that a woman's primary role should be that of a caregiver, thereby limiting her ability to achieve economic independence. Political rhetoric, as Faludi contends, also plays a crucial role in the undeclared war against women. She dissects how conservative politicians and pundits have utilized fear tactics to delegitimize feminist goals and cast women's liberation as a threat to traditional values. Faludi argues that this rhetoric aims to create a false dichotomy between women's rights and family stability, discouraging women from pursuing careers in equal status. By framing the feminist movement as responsible for societal breakdown, these actors effectively shift blame away from the structural inequalities that persist. Throughout the book, Faludi draws on an impressive array of historical and contemporary sources to support her arguments. She incorporates interviews, statistical data, and media analysis to provide a comprehensive view of the ways in which the backlash against women operates. This evidence-driven approach bolsters her claims and reinforces the urgency of addressing these issues. In conclusion, backlash the Undeclared War Against American Women is a compelling work that sheds light on the multifaceted strategies employed to hinder the progress of women's rights. Faludi's analysis of media portrayals, economic policies, and political rhetoric underscores the deliberate nature of the backlash and its far-reaching implications. By illuminating these tactics, the book serves as a call to action, urging readers to recognize and challenge the forces that seek to perpetuate gender inequality. Even though it was published in 1991, the book's insights continue to resonate, making it a valuable resource for anyone seeking to understand the ongoing struggle for gender equality in the United States.